This happened in October of 2018. It was during the time when I was working at a riding stable. This is by far the freakiest thing that has ever happened. It started off with me mucking out stalls and taking horses in and out of pastures, etc. Around 12.30 p.m., my mom came to pick me up from work. Since I work at 8.30 a.m., I work for the morning hours, then have the rest of the day off. As I got in my van with my mom, she said that she drove past a cornfield a few streets down from the barn. What she saw while on my way to get me was a clown. I asked her what the clown looked like and she gave me a brief description of the clown. The clown looked like Pennywise from It, the 2017 remake. My mom said, I couldn't get a clear view of it, but that's what I remember what he looked like. As soon as my mom said that, I questioned her on what street that she saw the clown at. When my mom told me that the cornfield was not far from a trail, I knew what she was talking about. The trail my mom was talking about used to be a train track many years ago, but ever since the train track was removed, people used it for many purposes, like hiking, dog walking, dirt biking, etc. My mom wanted to take the trail that was by the cornfield, the one where she saw the clown. I was going to tell her that it wasn't a good idea, but she insisted that we do and take my dog there. My dog was a German Shepherd Golden Retriever mix, so he was about a few months old at the time. He wasn't really big, but he was always so rambunctious that we had to walk him every day. It was a pain to say the least, but fun too. My mom drove down a road that she took to drive me to and from work slash riding. It was a quiet road and it never got busy. When my mom got to the cornfield where the trail was, she parked her van and me and her took the dog out. We couldn't see the clown, but I wonder if he ran off to hide or something. I didn't want to look for the clown, so we started walking down the trail. It was surrounded by trees with leaves changing colors. It was fall, which was my mom's favorite season. As we walked down the trail, we let my dog go to run and do his own thing. After a few feet away from the van, I noticed a dirt bike on the ground. Upon getting closer, I looked to see that the bike had been there for a while. Unsure about if the bike was stolen or not, I noticed some damage done to it. The tires were slashed and the chain was broken. The bike seat was also ripped. I looked to see if anyone was around, but couldn't see anyone. Thinking whoever left the bike was taking a piss or something, my dog was staring at something in the wilted cornfield. I walked up to my dog and grabbed his leash to be safe. When I took hold of the leash, I looked up at the wilted cornfield. Winter was approaching within a few weeks, so it was normal to see most of the cornfields wilted in the area. I looked to see a figure in the cornfield. That was what my dog was looking at. My mom was a couple of feet behind me, so she wasn't far behind. I can see that the figure looked like the clown my mom saw earlier. He looked to be about six feet tall. He was medium build, and he did look like the clown my mom described it to be. I wasn't sure why he was standing in the wilted cornfield, but I had no idea what his plans were. As I stared at the clown figure, it turned around to face me. I can see that the clown had an axe in his right hand, and that was when shit hit the fan. To the right of the clown, I can see at least three or four men dressed in black about a few feet away from the clown. I was nearly pissing myself as I wondered about why those men were here. If it was private property or something, why couldn't they have just told us to leave? The clown slowly began to walk towards me and my dog. I almost froze in fear at that point. Suddenly, out of nowhere, there was a blood-curdling scream from somewhere in the forest. It sounded like a woman was screaming, and I lost my shit right then and there. So I booked it down the way I came with my dog, not looking back. When I caught up with my mother, I told her to run, and we did so. Despite my mom having breathing problems, we ran all the way back towards our van, as soon as we got to our van, we looked back to see if the clown was behind us. There was no one following us, but we didn't want to stay to find out. My mom drove down the road until we got to our hometown, looking occasionally for any vehicle that might be suspicious. When we got back, we reported the clown incident to the police, and they went to the location where we found the clown. Shortly after that, we headed home without any hesitation. The next day, my mom got a phone call from the police when she picked me up from work, and what they said will forever send chills down my spine. My mom told me that the clown, with three or four men, were luring people down the trail we went to. 
They had found a few bodies of people, one of them being a six-year-old girl. I was sickened by what the police found, knowing that those men were waiting for me and possibly my mom and dog in the field. If my dog hadn't alerted me and my mom about that clown and his men, I wouldn't be alive today. Let this be a warning if you see anyone wearing a clown mask in the forest or cornfield. Run away from it. Don't stay with the clown if you want to stay alive. For some context, this happened in the summer of 2021, and this took place sometime near the end of June. Canada Day was approaching within a few days at the time, so I decided to do a trail ride before the holiday. I won't say the name of the barn for privacy reasons, but it was a horse riding stable that does trail rides during the summer and fall months. I decided to do a two-hour trail ride which involved crossing a road, rocky terrain, etc. It wasn't a big deal though, seeing that I am a very experienced rider and I have been around horses for years, you can say. When I got to the barn, I was on a Palomino gelding named Piper. Piper was a very calm and easygoing gelding, not stubborn like other geldings that I have rode in the past. But he was still very responsive to commands. My trail guide, which we'll call Miranda, was with me during this event. I've been on a few horse trails and did experience some creepy and weird stuff, but this takes the cake. When Miranda got on her horse, she was in front of me as she knew the trail very well. As we were on the trail, we got into some dense forest after crossing a road to a big trail that led on into the forest. As soon as we were in the forest, Piper's ears were forward as he was alert for something. It was very common for horses to move their ears like that, so I was used to their body language. Like ears pinned back, meaning they're angry, biting, kicking, etc. I have been reading about horses since I was in elementary school, so I have some knowledge about horses. Fast forward to about 20 minutes into the trail, Miranda and I climbed up a steep and rocky hill. It wasn't hard, seeing that I have done it before so it didn't seem to be a problem. When we reached the top of the hill, we stopped to allow our horses to catch their breaths. As we looked around the surroundings, I noticed that on my left side there was a figure. Now I couldn't see it clearly, but it looked like someone was walking through the trees. Miranda did say that other people hike on the trails as well, so I thought that was the case. As soon as we got our horses to start walking forward, I looked to my left to see the black figure was moving at the same pace we were. Now this was getting weird, as I have no idea what the figure was. As soon as we got to a big open field, Piper looked to the left when we heard some twigs snap with leaves crunching on the ground. I can see that the figure was about 20 feet away from us, and Miranata called out if there was a hiker. However, when she called out to the figure, it didn't speak or did anything. Whatever it did, the figure ran off until it was out of sight. As we continued our trail ride, Miranda and I could see a campsite that looked like it was trashed. The tent was ripped, clothes and belongings were thrown all over the place. We were confused about what happened, but regardless, we continued on our trail ride. As we got back into the woods after crossing the open field, we could see that some of the trees had markings on them. Some of them were painted in blue, and others were painted in red, and we were even more confused. We continued to go down the trail, but as we got closer, something nearly made the horses spook. The figure I saw earlier was 15 feet away when it ran across the trail. As it ran across the trail, it let out a gargling scream. It sounded like a woman, and I was confused as to why she was screaming. We got our horses to a trot to go after the woman, but as we got to where the woman turned, she was gone. The scream of that woman sounded as if she was no older than 30. Piper then looked to the right to see a sign. The wood was rotting, so I knew that the sign was old. Miranda and I decided to go check out the sign, and as we did, there was an arrow with some woods blurred off. We didn't know what the sign said or what it was saying, so we headed off in that direction. As we kept walking, I looked at the trees to see some skulls were nailed onto the wall. Most of them were from birds to human skulls, and this made me almost sick. We kept going that path until we could see a wooden structure in the distance, and it looked like an old cabin. The cabin looked like it was abandoned for years, so we headed off in that direction. When we got to the cabin in a clearing, we saw a lot of bones from animals, 
and even humans as well. We can see that the cabin looked like it was burned down by a fire, but we weren't sure on how recent that fire was. Miranda and I then saw some writing on the wood planks that were nailed to the trees. They were all related to death and Satan. Whoever made this must be some cult in the area. But the only problem was the fact that there was no one around. I then started to hear some voices, and it sounded like a ghostly voice. It sounded like, Get out of here! Burn the witch! I thought my mind was playing tricks on me, and that was when we heard a sound of crying from a woman. I thought it was the same woman who we saw earlier, and we saw the woman that we spotted earlier on the trail. As we looked up at her, she had long, messy black hair with brown eyes. She was dressed as if she was in a Halloween costume, but she didn't have anyone with her. Whatever happened next really made us get the fuck out of there. The woman let out a wicked cackle. Then she let out a scream of terror. Piper started to back up and turned around before galloping off. Miranda and her horse followed us out of that area. We didn't stop galloping until we got far away from that place. Piper eventually calmed down within five minutes. As soon as we were safe, Miranda and I were quiet for the rest of the trail ride. As soon as we got back to the barn, we let the owner know of the woman we saw. After we explained what happened, the owner decided not to call the authorities about what we saw. If we did get the authorities involved, it would be very hard to track down that woman. Plus, with her being out in the forest, it would be impossible to find her or her spot that is run by a cult. I always thought witches that are scary only exist in stories and movies, but after this experience, I really don't know what to think. A part of me says that it is real, and a part of me says that it was paranormal. This event happened to me near the end of August in 2023, and it isn't a repeat of when I encountered a witch back in 2021. But this is something that I've witnessed on a trail ride. I've been riding horses since 2009, and I've had years of experience. If you remember the time I encountered a witch on a trail ride, then you'll get a better context as to what strange things I've encountered while on horseback. It was just shortly after I turned 25, and I was riding a two-hour trail ride with two other people. For privacy reasons, I'll call them Linda and Alex. Alex was Linda's daughter who was 18 when this took place. I was joining them to do a two-hour trail ride as two two-hour trail rides were happening, so the barn where I go to do trail rides can be a hassle. What I mean by that is that the barn gets a lot of trail ride bookings every day. If you've been to barns for as long as I have, you'll understand what I mean. Our trail guide we had was Sarah and she was at least a few years older than me, maybe around 27 or 28 at most. She got me along with Linda and Alex on our horses. Linda was on a paint gelding named Prince Charming while Alex was on Katana, and I was on a quarter horse mare named Ariel. After we were all saddled up, my mom got some pics of me on Ariel before we headed off. While on the trail, everything was peaceful, going through a section of forest as well as crossing a road to get to where the rocky terrain is. If you know what that is, rocky terrain is where you have to climb up the hills with rocks in the trail. We went up at least two hills when we turned on another trail to continue the two-hour ride. I saw that Ariel was listening to my commands very well. Sure, she is a mare with a bit of an attitude, but since that was in mares, I have seen that behavior before. While coming up to a small clearing with bushes, Linda and Alex looked to where Katana and Prince Charming were looking at. I had no idea what they were doing, but soon Ariel starred in the same direction that the other horses did. Soon Sarah's horse looked to see what the others were looking at. The horse Sarah was riding was Bailey, and he was easily spooked and wasn't sure what it was. Did you see that? Alex asked me as I asked her what she meant. Alex soon said that she saw something about maybe 15 feet from them. Since I told Linda and Alex about the witch story back in 2021, I just hoped it wasn't the witch I've encountered before. As I looked at what the horses were looking as well as the other riders, I saw what looked like a big black blob. At first, I thought that it was a bear, but due to the size of the blob, it looked bigger than a bear. Sarah said to us that if it was a bear, we should go on our way, so we did that. As we were doing a loop on the trail that leads to an open field, 
Ariel, for some reason, jumped a bit. I was confused as to why she did that, and Linda said that she heard a branch snap. As I looked at the black blob, it was standing on two legs to which it confused all of us. I know for a fact that it wasn't a bear, but I wondered if it was a person or an animal. However, judging by the shape of whatever it was, it didn't look like a person. We made sure the horses were far away from it as we continued on. However, when we were going to go down the steep hill we came from, that was when we heard sounds of someone running in the distance. We were confused and still weren't sure as to who or what made that sound, but I thought something scared it off. After going down the steep hill, we went through another forest path, when up around 30 feet from us was a 10 feet tall creature. The horses stopped as if frozen in fear, and I held on to Ariel in case if she were to take off. Prince Charming soon had his ears pinned back, to which Linda knew why he did that. Soon Bailey, Katana, and Ariel did the same thing. They were in a defensive position and ready to attack if necessary. What the creature in front of us was a giant gorilla creature. It honestly scared the fuck out of us as we weren't sure on what to do. Have you encountered anything like this before? Linda asked Sarah. Honestly, no. I never thought that this would be the case. As Sarah replied to Linda, the creature turned his back towards us and ran back into the forest while roaring loudly. The horses were jumped a bit by the creature roaring, but as soon as the creature was gone, we continued the rest of the trail ride. After the trail ride was over, we went back to the barn and told the owner of what we saw. Honestly, she had no idea what that creature was, since none of us had an idea of what it was. We came to the conclusion that it was some sort of animal we've never seen before. If I thought the witch encounter was scary enough, this takes the cake. Since that day, I am not sure if that creature was Bigfoot or if it was a person. I still am not sure as of today. And honestly, it makes me wonder if it was ever caught or disappeared. I guess the only thing I can say now is that creature is a mystery to us. We don't know what is out there in the world. If the creature had tried to hurt us or the horses, then the outcome would be very different from what I have told you. Outside in the wild is great to be outdoors for fun. However, the wildlife as well as animals are a mystery to us.